it's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences yet again bringing you a tutorial. This is not your average everyday tutorial. This is sort of a correction tutorial on something I had done before. I, in my last video, I made a video about the groups, these guys over here being able to uh, create groups automatically by bringing them in or importing them from someone else's RGBFX file. And that is fantastic, still works great. But I sort of made a mistake when I alluded to a process I wanted everyone to adhere to when downloading <sighs> props from Boosku or Gilbert Engineering USA and I was talking primarily about things like spinners things that are concentric where when you make one of these bad boys you should always do it in X lights but X lights has made some changes along the way and guess what I don't keep up with everything because come on I'm not pixel Jesus I'm just an ordinary man so anyway so check this out uh, there's a couple of different ways uh, that you can create these models when you export them. And what Gilbert Engineering has put in for X Lights as their drop down is a native model. Now, in the past, this wasn't really possible, and I don't remember how long ago it was. X Lights 2019, 18. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But all I do know is that when you download this, you are getting the native file. So I'm going to click Insert Model. And how do we know it's really a native file? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My 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 uh my model somehow ended up in Nebraska. I'm trying to get it over here. Oh no no now it's in Tennessee. No no no, get over here. I gotta turn the world just to move it. Welcome to 3D. Although it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You just have to get used to it. But how do we know that this is in fact a native file? Because it says it's a circle. It doesn't say custom. If it said custom, it'd be custom. So how do we make this a custom model? What if you want to go in here and tell it that I hate the wiring view. I want to start at the top, bounce to the center, then bounce to the left, bounce to the bottom, bounce to the right, bounce to the center again because I'm crazy. I'm loony. No, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you want to, I guess you can. That's just silly. I wouldn't, but you can. So how do we do that? That's uh, pretty simple. So we click on one of these and we right click on it and we tell it to export. But wait a minute, wait a minute. There's two exports and they're separated by a wiring view. Maybe that's good. Keep them away from each other. Nobody likes an export getting into a bloody fight. So if I export as a custom model, it creates that custom model. Very different than the one we just downloaded from the X-Lights. If I create export X lights model, it does this. It creates that for you. So we already know how that works. So let's create one of these custom models. And it's gonna ask us to save it somewhere. So I'll throw that on the desktop. Sure, Grand Illusion uh, 50. We'll call it Grand Illusion 50, just, just so we know what it is. And now I can import that into my show. What state will it go to? Grand Illusion 5050 right here. And bada boom, bada, where'd you go? Oh, look. Look, you stayed in our time zone. That's awesome. Uh, but here's the difference. Look at this. Look at this. Look, let's, look, let's, let's zoom in on this. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That, that, that's just not pretty. I'm telling you right now. Um, yeah. Which one would you rather have? This one? Well, let's look at the model. Look at the difference here. Model data. Woo, doggy. U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Oh, I digress. Anyway, catch a lot of this. So this is not anything you really want to do. You'd like to uh, try to stick with the uh, uh, select it. You probably want to stick with the export as a model. Hey, guess what? My kids are having a meltdown in the next room because mommy went to the store. Oh, but you know what? I'll prevail. We'll make this work. Stay with me. Okay, let's try that again. After my children had a meltdown, mom got home and pulled out the sandals. <laughs> Just to put on their feet so it's safe for them to walk on uh, the hot asphalt. Again, uh, just want to correct that using this button to download props, they can still be in the native file format. If you're not sure, remember, click on it. And if it says the name of what it is, the type, it's a circle, that's native. If it says custom, well, that means, yes, you got it. It's custom. That's all I got for you. I hope it was helpful. Have a great weekend. Happy Memorial Day. 
Uh, I'd like to just say a big shout out to those that are in the armed services, uh, fighting uh, to protect our freedoms, serving, and, and of course, prayers to all the families who have lost their loved ones who have made the ultimate sacrifice. So that's all I've got for you. Have a great weekend.